hello students now we are going to discuss very important name reaction in organic chemistry that is woods reactions we know different types of woods reactions are used in synthesis of uh, aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbon it may be simple woods reaction may be fitting reaction and woods fitting reaction so generally three types of woods reaction we'll discuss today for the synthesis of aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbon so let us start without delay so woods reaction mainly halo alkane is used here this is halo alkane two molecule of halo alkane react with sodium metal two molecule of halo alkane react with sodium metal and forming alkane and here one important solvent is dry ether is used why we are using dry ether because dry ether does not react with the sodium metal it has no polar hydrogen that's why sodium metal cannot react with dry ether so we can use dry ether as a solvent so in case of woods reaction halo alkane reacts with sodium metal forming alkane here two molecules of uh, halo alkane is used so this that's why it is called coupling reaction also we can say because two molecules of halo alkane combine in presence of sodium metal forming alkane similarly fitting reaction if you discuss it is mainly for aromatic compound here halo arin two molecules of halo arin reacts with the same sodium metal in presence of dry ether forming diphenyl this is biphenyl biphenyl is produced here particularly aromatic compound this is only aromatic this is case of aromatic compound fitting reaction this is called fitting reactions two benzene ring condens so this is also one part of coupling reaction but if you want to prepare combination of both aliphatic and aromatic we use another type of name reaction that is woods fitting reaction combination of woods reaction and fitting reaction that's what is called woods fitting reaction here halo alkane and halo arin in presence of sodium metal combine to form aromatic alkane this is aromatic alkane this is aromatic alkane so these are three types of woods reaction we can say simple woods reaction then fitting reaction then woods and fitting reactions both combine so we can synthesize pure alkane or aromatic alkane or combination of both aliphatic and aromatic halo alkane that is alkane here what are the mechanism for this reaction for both reaction it may be woods reaction or fitting reaction or woods fitting reaction the mechanism is same generally two types of mechanism we are taking into consideration for the preparation of alkane here if you see, see the uh, mechanism here if you see the if you discuss the free radical mechanism the here what happens two sodium metal first dissociates at release electrons two sodium ion and two electrons produce after loss of electron from sodium they produce sodium ion that then here two molecule of halo alkane 
produce breaking produce 2r plus and 2x minus carbocation is produced here what happens this carbocation when takes two electron it becomes 2r dot free radicals it become free radicals that is called free radical this free radical combine each other producing alkene this is your final product alkene is formed so this is called free radical mechanism formation of carbocation then carbocation when combined with electron it takes electron it becomes free radicals so if you see anion mechanism the mechanism like this two sodium atom losing electron becomes sodium ion and two electron this that r and x when dissociate produce r plus and x minus because it is a polar compound that r plus when take two electron it becomes r minus it becomes r minus okay this r minus acts as a nucleophile it attack another halo alkene like this already you know substitution nucleophilic substitution reaction and forming alkene this is your alkene so this is your preparation of alkene either free radical mechanism or anion mechanism so in this two mechanism we can use for the preparation of alkene from halo alkene or halo arene so let us discuss what are the factors affecting this name reaction urge reaction or fitting reaction or urge fitting reaction here important thing aprotic non polar solvent is essential aprotic non polar solvent that is your ethor ketone like this ethor is used because it is aprotic it has no h plus ion it cannot lose h plus ion so aprotic solvent because if use a protic solvent then it reacts with sodium metal that's why arom that uh, it uh, you can use ether as a solvent then another second point is symmetrical halo alkene is more reactive because if you take combination of halo alkene for example suppose you take ch3cl or ch3ch2 cl this is called a symmetrical but if we use uh, that uh, alkyl group in secondary or tertiary form if we use secondary or tertiary halo alkene then what happens it mainly it causes repulsion steric hindrance we can say repulsion it is causes repulsion due to this the formation of the amount of product will be less because that free radical or carbonion produce cannot combine each other due to steric hindrance that's why symmetrical halo alkene for example you take suppose ch3 whole 3 cx so this is tertiary this is example of tertiary here the reactivity will be slow due to steric hindrance repulsion that's why we should avoid unsymmetrical halo alkene then another comparison between halo alkene and halo arene halo alkene is more reactive because this concept already know in goc general organic chemistry already know in case of phenyl group you take the reactivity will be less because due to resonance due to resonance reactivity will be less because the halogen gets double bond nature 
that's why we should avoid which one we, we should uh, if you compare the reactivity then halo alkane will be more reactive than halo arene that means if you see the reactivity of uh, that is fitig reaction and woods reaction woods reaction is more reactive compared to fitig reaction because in case of woods reaction generally we use halo alkane so this is the main difference then another if you compare with in between halo alkane then halo r that is ido alkane is more reactive than bromo alkane then chloro alkane then fluoroalkane because this bond dissociation energy of uh, halo that is uh, ido alkane is low that's why it is more reactive only depends upon bond dissociation energy larger the iodine size smaller the and that uh, weaker the bond that's why the reactivity is faster then another thing is bulky alkyl group gives alkane so that already i have told you if you use bulky alkyl group so due to steric hindrance it the reactivity is very slow but it results the formation of alkane we'll discuss in the different application so bulky alkyl group should be avoided then another thing is avoiding a mixture of halo alkane if you take suppose example chloromethane plus chloroethane in presence of sodium metal and dry ether result will be ch3 then c2h5 will be formed so this case ch3 c2h5 this is a and this is one alkane is formed another alkane will be like this CH3, CH3 may be formed, or C2H5, C2H5. You see, three types of alkane is formed if you take a mixture of halo alkane. It may be if both combine, then produce propane. If only chloromethane combine, then produce ethane. If chloroethane combine, it produce butane. so mixture of halo mixture of alkane are produced which will be difficult to separate that's why we should avoid by taking a mixture of halo alkane then let us discuss very important part that is application of woods or your fitting reaction or woods fitting reactions what are the application in case application we will see the mechanism either free radical mechanism or carbanion mechanism or anionic mechanism you see the examples if you take first c2h5cl suppose you undergo woods reaction it, the product may be c2h5 c2h5 because free radical if you take free radical formation already you discussed the mechanism then c2h5 dot is produced then another c2h5 dot combined produce alkane but with this the side product may be that alkene also produce how alkene is produced from this and then alkene plus another molecule becomes c2h6 how just let us discuss here CS3 CS2 dot produce it loses H dot becomes CS2 CS2 that H dot uh, release is combined with another another molecule of uh, ethyl free radical forming ethane so two molecule in this from one molecule h dot is produced that h dot again combine with another ethyl free radical forming like this ch3 ch2 dot plus h dot then produce ethane so the product is butane and ethene and ethane you see these are the three types of nature of product for if you take chloroethane in case of if you use woods reaction so the amount of product will be butane ethene and ethane okay if you see second example suppose you take one cyclic compound 
here this is the free radical free radical will be produced then free radical combined to produce dicyclopropane then similarly if you take another example if you take like this then here at the here this part is your free radical this part is free radical so result will be like this new bond is formed between the two carbon atoms due to formation of these two free radicals so it become this this is your bicyclo compounds will be formed then if you take both halogen change if you change the halogen one side chlorine another side bromine then if you do woods reaction the product will be here the competition between here result will be two molecule combined here okay here bromine is released because bromine in case of bromine the bond dissociation energy low so the result is this one so this part will be free radicals compared to chlorine because bromine is weaker bond so easily dissociated so this part will combine similarly we can use another like this suppose the compound is like this bromine then it will be use how many carbon carbon 1 2 3 4 5 so result will be a five member ring will be formed five member ring will be formed as a cyclopentane clear so similarly if you use like this bromine here bromine then woods reaction not this one only cyclo part here result what happens so after loss of this bromine and produce free radical at the carbon atom so both carbon atom forming a new bond like this bicyclo compound will be formed if you use another type suppose like this bromine bromine then woods reaction if you do the product will be ring will be remain same here here that is one extra carbon here one extra carbon this carbon forming another chain like this the chain will be like this this is your chain like this one extra this two carbon will be carbon 1 and carbon 2 will be formed between two center carbon okay other examples you can take suppose ch3 ch3 ch cl if you apply woods reaction the result will be combination like this but this product is less minor due to steric hindrance due to repulsion but what are the other product other product will be if it loses it loses cl that that part will be free radical free radical become alkene ch2 double bond ch single bond ch3 alkene can be converted then remaining hydrogen will be added another part forming higher alkene so once alkene is formed means the other part will be alkene due to transfer of h dot you transfer of h dot it will become alkene and alkene so this is the major part 
this is the major this is your minor like woods reaction if you see the mechanism you see the product the result will be this one but this is the minor because due to steric hindrance bulky group this is the answer so mixture of product will be fall if you take if you do woods reaction result will be six member in this is a free radical this is a free radical if both are combined it may be a cyclopropane if this part will be combined then it will be cyclopropane if these two part will combine then it will be cyclohexane so this is your major other examples if you take like this so many so many application of woods reaction woods or woods fitting reaction suppose this is your halogen then result will be for the result here both bond will combine then this is is your product so this product will form because this free radical both end forming pi bond so resulting a fusion of ring forming a fusion of ring like this if you take so many examples suppose uh, if you take this example here chlorine here chlorine if you apply woods reaction the result will be maybe result will be maybe like this here free radical here free radical is formed so it can be a pi bond or this end combine if this end combine then it will be so this is the your first structure the first structure another structure combined second structure through this carbon through this carbon fusion of the ring fusion of two rings so this product will be also form so you have to see but if you take bulky group like this cs3 whole three c and where if you apply woods reaction here this product cs3 whole 3 c c then c cs3 whole 3 is the unstable unstable product but the major product will be here what happens already I have told you your loss of your h dot it may be plus it may be product will be C H two double bond. C here C H three here C H three. This will be four. Plus then transfer of H dot. It may be C H three whole three C H C H. So this is also possible. So as it is a bulky group. So what happens? This from this free radical, one H dot is released, forming one alkene. Then this alkene is formed. Then H dot it becomes added to another free radical, forming alkene. But the fusion of these two free radical will not be possible due to the bulky nature. So the fusion, simply coupling of this free radical, will be unstable. That's why the amount of product is less. So always we have to take care of the nature of free radical produce. And we should avoid the use of bulky free radicals in the Woods reactions. So these are very important uh, uh, application of Woods reactions. Then another we can see that we should avoid mixture of haloalkane 
and the reaction should be carried out in non-polar solvent. If we use polar solvent, it reacts with sodium metal. So I hope you have understood the different application, different mechanism of Woods of fitting reaction or Woods fitting reaction and what are the application of this. Okay. Thank you all.